guys. Today I had my 15th chemo and I need to do a video to document how bad I feel and it's only a few hours after I had chemo and I feel racy and fast heartbeat and probably it's from steroids. And I went into the sauna for about an hour and I probably sweat too much. So I, I'm trying to drink a bunch of water to make up for it. I feel weak and a little dizzy. And I hate this feeling of feeling so starving and so nauseous at the same time. It's the craziest feeling. I'm going to do a whole video about it sometime about how a combination of the chemo plus the vitamin C makes you ravenous and it makes you very thirsty too. But you never feel better after you eat. It's like it totally messes with your blood sugar. So I could like totally feel like I could eat a whole pizza right now. I'm very specific about what sounds good. And um bad stuff. Bad stuff sounds good. I do want some fruit right now, but I don't want to get up and get it. Somebody bring me strawberries. And honeydew melon, please. Anyway, so I'm resting. I'm glad I get to take a break next week because I'm traveling for work. And after this, I should have three more to go if I can do it and yeah chemo number 15 low dose metronomic chemo number 15 on a side note this is for my own diary documentation it was cool to see renee again today i don't know if i've talked about renee but she is 58 years old. She looks like she's in her 40s. She's amazing and vibrant. And she's been battling stage 4 breast cancer since 2016. And she did conventional treatment after being diagnosed originally in 2002. About my age. And then it's come back twice. And she's been quote unquote terminal for, you know, three years now and she is has sought out the low dose chemotherapy because she knows how effective it has been for so many other people although it's been hard on her the last two weeks she hasn't come in because of low white blood cell oh yeah my white blood cell count did something really weird today oh my makeup's run i did sauna and then a shower my, my makeup's everywhere i don't care i haven't looked in the mirror um, my white blood cell count for the first time was high. So last week it was 2.6 and 1.3, I think 1.4. There's two numbers that they use. Um, normal range is three something to 10 something. And then the other one is, um, three something to seven something. Anyway, so my first number today was almost 13. It was 12.8 and my second one was 11.5, which is both in the high range. So it could be an indication of the granic shot working too well, which I took on Sunday, which was two days ago, or it could mean my body's starting to fight an infection. Maybe that's why I'm not feeling so good. I did get the chills yesterday, but I don't feel any other symptoms. So I'll have to watch and see. Nobody seemed very concerned at the oncologist's office today. But for me, it was a red flag because I know my body. And after 15 treatments, I've never seen it higher than 4 point something or 5 point something. Okay. And now it's like 12, almost 13 and 11. So we'll see what happens when I get it checked in two weeks. And that is my diary for chemo number 15. That's all. Hopefully I won't go to the ER tonight. Peace out.